In this course, we're going to look at those tools that we just saw in the first video. We're going to take a look at them a little more in depth. So that means we're going to look at Forma 36, which is the Contentful's design library and component library. Then we're going to take a look at the open source editors, which are the field editors that you use in Contentful all the time. Uh, we've open sourced those so you can manipulate them and customize them to, to your needs. Uh, we're also going to look at Create Contentful App, which is the wrapper around Create React App. So this gets a project up and running and, and ready to be turned into an app. And finally, I'm going to look at the SDK, and we're going to see a few of the features that the SDK has. And we'll get to a point where we will have an app that's about ready to be worked on. And then in the next video, we'll actually work on building just a small sample app where we'll see the different features and the different customizations that are possible. So first up, we have Forma 36, which is our design library and design language. It also comes with a set of React components that are the same components we use to build all of our UI for the Contentful web app. But we've open sourced them and we've added them to the Forma 36 library. So when you import it as you're building apps, you can get the same look and feel as Contentful which allows you to build these cohesive and seamless experiences. So here I am at f36.contentful.com and this is just the documentation for Forma 36. It gives you guidelines on how to use certain features or certain ideologies around how we're using some of this design. And on top of that we also provide developer tools here in the form of Storybook. For those of you that are not familiar with Storybook, it's simply a sandbox where you can put React components and check out how they work. So in this case, what we've done is we've taken all of our Forma 36 components and we've added them into Storybook. And Storybook allows for you to play around with the different props of components. So as I click around here, I can change components and just kind of get a feel for what's going on. If I want to uh, update certain things, I can and see those updates on the fly. Um, so I'm just going to change the button text here. So again, this is just a tool for developers to be able to go in and quickly check out all of the different components we have to offer. And of course, we've done this for all of the Forma 36 components here. And again, these components are the same ones that you'll find that build this user interface, for example. Moving on, I want to talk about the open source field editors or simply the field editors of Contentful. What the field editors are are the default built-in field editors here, such as the short text editor or the long text editor, or any kind of field you'd find inside of the basic Contentful experience. What we've done is we've open sourced them and created them as React components here in contentful-field-editors.netlify.app. So this is where you can find the documentation for how these field editors work. And you can see that we've got a list of them on the side here of all the different editors. So for example, if I ever wanted to create a custom version of the rich text editor, I'd have instructions here on not only how to install them, but how to import them into my project. And then of course, I'm given a small example of how to run the rich text editor. Of course, you're welcome to go in and augment the code or change it based off of what you need it to do. And you can do this with any of the field editors that we have uh, that come out of the box with Contentful because we've open sourced them and we allow you to change the code if you'd like. And you can add this inside of your app, which is something that we'll do a little bit down the road as we start to build apps and get a little bit more into the advanced use cases of building apps. Next up, I wanna look at the Create Contentful command line tool, which is a wrapper around Create React app. What this Create Contentful App command does is it builds a React application, it bootstraps an entire directory with uh, Contentful components, and it gets us one step closer to being able to run a custom app inside of the Contentful web app. Um, and so all I need to do is access NPM here. So I'm going to call NPX, which is going to go out to the public internet. I'm going to go into the Contentful namespace, and then I'm going to run this create contentful 
app command, and there's one function we want to run here, which is init, and init takes one argument, which is the name of the app that I'm creating. So in this case, I'm going to name my first app, my first app. And now all we need to do is let this run. Once the command is finished, we're presented with a few options, so we can run, we can build, we can test the app. And I think the first thing I'm going to do here is cd into my first app. And now we're currently in our app directory, and it has components built out, and a couple of other configuration files that are ready for us to get started coding. So last but not least, I want to talk about the SDK which comes prepackaged with the Create Contentful app that we just built. So really quickly, this is an app that has a package JSON, and as we can see, it loads in all of the good stuff that we just talked about. So we've got the SDK, we've got the field editors, we have Forma 36, of course we've got React and Node, and while this project does build a TypeScript build, you're uh, definitely free to not use TypeScript if you don't want to or if you're not comfortable with it. You can simply go into the various files that you're touching and change them from being TS files to just simply JS files. So over in here, I'm going to go into the source directory here and I just want to briefly take a look at what's being built. So by default, we get a lot of code out of the box and this is all pre-configured to run inside of a browser so we don't actually have to change anything. We actually can get started building an app right away. And as you can see, the SDK gets loaded into each location that the app is going to show up into already. Now the benefit of using TypeScript here is my editor will actually tell me a few tips and tricks as I'm using it. So for example, as we go and build an app, and let's say I want to create an app around just the field location inside of Contentful, I'll be able to access the SDK via the props that get passed in to this component. So just to give an example or an illustration here, if I access props.sdk, I can see all of the options that start to show up on the SDK. And of course, this is all documented over on our developer documentation, which we'll link to. However, again, using TypeScript, we do have access to all of these great inline methods and uh, inline documentation that allows us to get started building a little bit faster.